Okay, in September we appealed for women who were unhappy with their self-image to contact us. Now, hundreds of people did, and today we meet three women who want to change their lives by changing how they look at themselves. Not just about how they look, it's how they look at themselves. It's all about self-image. From now until Christmas, with the expertise of a top therapist, we are going to be helping them help themselves. Now, Elaine Bogle is one of the three ladies we're going to be meeting this afternoon. Before we meet her, let's have a look at her story. My name's Elaine, I'm 24. I live in Balbringham with my husband Ian and our new baby Jonah. And I work for the Carphone Warehouse, I'm a sales consultant there. I'm on maternity leave at the moment. It started in secondary school. It just, I wasn't, I didn't have as many friends as everybody else. Um, I got on with everyone but I didn't have any friends. I didn't have any confidence or self-esteem. I thought there was something wrong with me. I didn't know if it was the way I looked or... I wasn't cool enough or something. I, I don't know how to move on from it. It's just, that's just the way I am and I've never been able to change it. I've always been kind of overweight and at one stage I did get my weight down and I was the happiest I ever was, but that didn't last very long. Probably because I was still unhappy in myself that I couldn't keep the weight off. see someone that's overweight, unhappy, ugly, lonely. If I was invited out to go out for a few drinks, I'd be thinking I can't go out because I'm too fat or I have nothing to wear, so I, I just wouldn't go out. I'd like to have friends from work and just work around where I live. I thought it was different that I said an emotional makeover and not a physical makeover because it's usually physical where I think I'm, I mostly need an emotional because once I'm happy within myself I think the rest will just come naturally. They were saying on the show you know always comparing yourself to others and not being confident in yourself and that's exactly how I am. I hope I can do it so when I go back to work I'm a new person and I don't have to worry about things anymore. I'm willing to do anything. I have nothing to lose at the end of the day, so. Okay, Elaine is with us now on the couch, and of course everybody knows Brian Colbert, um, our NLP expert and our psychotherapist. Elaine, when, when I was watching that, they, I literally wrote down four words that, that, that you say when you look in the mirror, you see somebody who's overweight, you see somebody who's unhappy, you see somebody who's ugly, you see somebody who's lonely, mm -hmm. which is quite a strong... Thing to say about yourself it's quite damning of yourself yeah <laughs> and this this is this every day um er, pretty much every day yeah because okay. yeah. when you sent the letter in uh this what uh, it sort of it really it really struck us we were so amazed i have to be honest with you you sent the letter in and we thought this person really doesn't like themselves they have no confidence then we saw your picture and went my god this woman is beautiful <laughs> and i know people at home will say that they look at you and go she's beautiful you say in the letter, we'll, we'll show it to everybody here, the, the extracts we took out. I hate the way I look, I always have, I have no confidence, sometimes I find it hard to leave the house. And as everybody wants, you want the same thing that we all want. I want to be secure, I want to be happy, outgoing and friendly, and above all, I want to be the best role model I can be for my son. Usually happens when you have kids that suddenly you... Yeah, you want to be a better person. Yeah. Because it's not just for you anymore, it's for him as well. Now explain to me about going out. It, are you talking about going out at night, getting dressed up, or are you just talking about going out? It's everything, like, even just in the morning, just getting dressed and going to the shops and just doing something. And then as well, it's, it's at night, I don't want to go out with friends, I don't want to go drinking, because it's, it's having to make conversation, it's having to dress up and look well, and I just don't feel well in myself to, to do it. What do you think people are saying to, or thinking when they're talking to you, or... What do you think they're thinking when they're looking at you? They probably just think I'm a bit weird, that I, I don't go out and I don't do anything. I'm unsociable and I just want to sit in and be by myself and I'm quite happy doing that. And how do you, do you judge other people? Like, how do you look at other people? I always think, like, they're better than me. I'm always comparing myself to them and I know I shouldn't be and... <laughs> I don't know. Mm. But it's brilliant. I'm, I'm delighted you're in and you're going to meet Brian because Brian has helped so many people here on the show. Um, working, are, you, are you working with um, Elaine on a psychotherapist basis or LLP? What are, what are you going to do or what are your thoughts? Yeah. 
Okay, but a bit of everything, really, to be, to be honest with you. The first thing, really, what we need to do for, for Elaine, the, 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 the key thing is what she says. Is like, when you look at her, you know, most people say, well, Elaine's a very attractive lady, mm. yeah? And most people say, oh, what, what's her problem? That doesn't make much sense. But the key thing is that Elaine doesn't feel beautiful and she doesn't feel confident. What we need to do is to go in after those feelings because that's backed by beliefs. But there's a, a big thing that ha hasn't happened for Elaine that needs to happen. Elaine doesn't really have the social skill of knowing how to connect with other people. The first thing she needs to do is to be able to connect with herself, to accept herself, to be able to, you know, find out who she is, the, the beautiful person that is there that she doesn't see. Can I ask you, Elaine, when, what happened? Where, where did that social skill, where did it fall off? Well, when I was younger, I was nearly kidnapped, so for a few years I was just afr too afraid to leave the house. What age were you? I was about eight, and then I didn't go out until I was about 14, so I didn't really make friends or meet boys or anything like that. And did that, did that actually triggered a change in the way you approach dealing with everybody? I was just afraid to go out and do anything. If I went out, I was holding my mum's hand. Even when I was 13, I was holding my hand. And every time she would, we would walk by a stranger, I'd be squeezing her hand to let her know I'm afraid. Uh, and what happened? Did somebody nearly try to take um, you? It was just um, a car pulled up with a few guys in it and they were saying, you're coming to get some sweets. And I was just standing there by myself and I just had to run. I just kept on running. Jeez, every, <sighs> every parent's nightmare. Okay, so this is this is where you said everything switched off, Brian. Well, there's, there's a trigger, and that's that, that's one of the triggers that happened there. What happened is a negative event occurred like that, and really from there on in, what I land on is she says, well, I take the safest way out. I okay. keep safe, which is a very honourable thing to do and a good thing to do. The problem with that is that as she started to keep safe, she kept indoors and it meant mm. that she wasn't connecting with people. So time was passing and this is what happens. And the skill of actually connecting with people, building friends, making friends, meeting new people, which we take for granted a lot of the time. A lot of people through an event don't build that skill. So as a result, as time goes on, the skill just seems to be so big that how, how am I going to get through this? So you said, I heard you say earlier on to her, it's simple, it's a skill. It's, it's not this big huge mountain you have to climb, it's just a skill you need to learn. What, what would you hope to do? A number of things. The first thing is that we're going to do is collapse the, the fear base that was built. Okay, we're going to wipe that completely so that she, she, it won't exist anymore, for want of a better word. Then we're going to, to, to teach her to build the skill of actually, first of all, she's got to, the key thing is to, to recognise who she is, what she is, how she is, and how good she is. But she needs to feel that. That's what's really important. Elaine needs to connect with herself first. Mm -hmm. When she connects with herself, she'll be comfortable in her own skin. Basically, once you're comfortable in your own skin, then it will be easier to connect with other people. The big thing that she's been doing is comparing herself with other people. That, by the way, is a function of the brain. The brain does that, okay? But the difference is that you're comparing in a negative way. What we're going to do is to get you in a realistic way, not yet a positive way, in a realistic way, so you can build a positive route. And that's where you're going with this. The, you know, the, the, to put it mildly, that this is very, very sortable. There is solutions for all of this, that you can do this, you will do this, and you've said the thing that we needed you to say. You're prepared to do what it takes. Once you are, you're going to get to where you need to go. We have a few things to do, but the bottom okay. line is this is very possible, and it is something that you're going to make happen for yourself. This is yeah. going to happen, so the thing is you can begin to rest easy and know that you're on your way. He's starting already. I yeah. can see him. <laughs> how, do, how do you feel about this? How do... I thought it couldn't be fixable because that's just the way I am. So, but it's great to hear that I can, I can learn it. Mm. And the fact that it has had such an impact over every aspect of your life mm. means it can only get better from here. Yeah. Especially for your son. Your son's beautiful, buddy. <laughs> how old is he? Four months. Okay, so you're, um, you're going to stay with us. We're going to follow you over the next while. So thank you, Brian, as well. We'll be meeting you a little bit later and some of our other volunteers. All the details we have on this emotional makeover, everything that we're going to be discussing today on the show as well, Brian's tips, all of that, will be on the website as always. It'll also be on Airtel page 365. Maura.